2009 on an 09 Mercedes C200 diesel. So that's the 2.2 litre uh, diesel engine with an automatic gearbox. As you can see, finished in black with the, uh, with the AMG alloys on it in lovely condition, those wheels as well. Um, nice nice tires on this one. It's got the uh, the screen in the, in, on the center, which we'll show you in a second. Electric tailgate, auto lights, a few other bits and bobs. We'll start by having a good look at the bodywork. Moving our way around and then we'll go for the interior and a cold engine startup. I picked this one up this morning, drove it back about 15, 20 miles. Seems to drive nice, gearbox seems smooth, all that sort of stuff. Starting on the front wing, we've got a couple of stone chips just down on the bottom here. But other than that, generally nice and tidy. All good around the actual arch itself and down the bottom here. Like I said earlier on, the alloys are unmarked. They're in lovely condition. Loads of meat left in the tyres. Coming up the top of the wing here, a couple of light scratches in the, uh, in the, in the bonnet. Uh, and a bit of a stone chip just there. A pillow, we've got one or two minor stone chips, but nothing major. Roof itself looks like it could do with a polish. It's got sort of tree sap marks and things in it, as you can see there, and a couple of swirls, but there isn't any dings or dents. Nice and clean along the leading edge there. Um, but like I say, good, good uh, polish and clean would make a massive difference on that, get rid of the sap and all that sort of stuff. All the glass on this side, nice and clear. It's got that factory light Mercedes smoke on the front and slightly darker on the rear. Couple of little marks where the driver's door's been open on things in car parks and a couple of minor little marks down the bottom there. Same story on the rear door, so a couple of little stone chips and a couple of minor marks actually where the arch sort of bows out. Um, it's where it's gonna catch the stone chips, isn't it? All nice and sharp on the rear arch. There's no corrosion coming through in the usual spots. Another good wheel and tire. Coming around on the back, there's some marks in the paint there where it's sort of been caught on the plastic at some point. Nice and clear on both tail lights. A couple of minor scratches here and there, and then there's a few more where it's been pulled in and out of the boot, or things have been pulled out and out of the boot, sorry. All around the rear screen, that looks to be nice and tidy. You can have another look at the roof from up here. And can we rack down on the passenger side? Nice and straight all the way down. It's not full of ripples or dents or anything like that. Another good wheel and tire. Again, like I say, they're really, really good. If we're being picky, Center caps probably won't replace because they're a little bit peely, but you only notice that because the wheels themselves are so good. Lovely and clean around that rear arch. Again, no corrosion coming through there. It does have some sort of cracking in the lacquer on the top of that rear door there. You can see it better in that light like that. You see it at that point there, it sort of stops here. And then moving out the front door, we've got a few stone chips and a couple more down the bottom, but generally that stuff stops earlier on. Front wing, we've got a few stone chips here. The arch itself is all good. Another good wheel and tire. A pillar, we've got one stone chip down the bottom there. But other than that, all good. And then we've obviously mentioned the roof earlier on, good cut and polish on that. I would say that this, what applies to the roof applies to the bonnet as well. Some swirls over this section here, some tree sap marks, and then we do have some stone chips, as you would expect. A few more stone chips on the, uh, the front bumper. There's no damage, cracks or dents or anything like that. Headlights are surprisingly good, they're nice and clear. Got the Xeon bulbs as well. Moving on to the interior, nice and tidy on that door card. Minimal wear on the on the armrest. The seat itself, tiny little bit of wear on the uh, on the corner, but other than that, very, very good. Lovely and firm, nice and comfy. Little bit of wear on the steering wheel, but generally pretty good. Nothing does a miles be for wear better than a Mercedes, I'd say. 147,810 miles. Which again for these sort of makes you see the one 250 300 all day long like i said we, we've got that uh the screen in that section there they're in work and what happens on the with the radio and you've got your dual zone aircon automatic gearbox all that sort of stuff leveling clean on the headlining there's no nasty smells in here or anything like that all good on that rear door card and the back bench again very good very minimal signs of wear rear seat pockets aren't stretched out or anything like that all the mats are nice and clean have another look at the headliner from here. Again, quite a rare option on the on the 200s, which you can use on the button or on the remote. Press the button, up it goes. And then again, to bring it down, you can use the remote or you've got the, the button up the top there. Nice and clean in the boot, it's got the load protectors. It's actually got the roller load blind in the back as well as the the load cover there as well, should you want to use both. Nice and clean in there, like I said. Hit the button, I'll close the boot. Into the rear passenger side again, nice and tidy on the door card. 
all good on that rear bench. Back to the seats on this side, nice and tidy as well. Moving forward again, nice and clean on that door. Door shuts all the way around are good. And that seat shows virtually nowhere at all. In fact, yeah, really very good. For the miles and the age of the car, the seats are all very, very good, I have to say. And then moving around under the bonnet, got a 2.2 litre diesel engine, automatic gearbox. Like I say, I drove it to us. Seems to drive nice. 15, 20 miles, something like that. Chucking along quite smooth. I think I've got about 48 miles a gallon as well, which is nice. Not a lot to see on a modern one, obviously all covered in engine covers, but there's no sign of any corrosion coming through around the strut tops or on the inner wings. Nothing nasty sort of sparking up. All the covers are there as well, which is always a good sign for me. Not dropping any fluid on the floor. We've left it to go cold, so we can do it for a cold engine startup. Key in. Obviously diesel, so wait for your glow plugs. Roll it over. Firing up on the button. Auto lights working as well. Taking over nice and happy around the front. Nothing nasty spewing out the back. And then if we check this one, what have we got? Go through for your messages. No messages, no warning lights other than there's no seatbelt on because obviously there's no one sat in there. So there you have it. 2009 or an 09 C200 2.2 diesel. Any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.